Hello, baseball fans, and out of the park baseball fans, particularly, it's me, Bob Zolke, Sportsman Z in the flesh. And I'm here to talk about my Pirates career season. We are, we have finished the 1981 season. We've actually finished the 1980 and 81 seasons. And we are in the off season of 1981, headed into 1982. Now I will recap what happened last year really quickly. Uh, you have the standings from last year right here. As you can see, we were 68-94, finishing last in the NL East. And uh, we were only one game better than the dead last place in the National League Atlanta Braves. Um, and we were also better than the White Sox. And we had the same record as the Toronto Blue Jays. So we were bad. I'm summing it up. We were bad. Um, and uh, the World Series last year was the Phillies against the Texas Rangers. And the Rangers won that series four games to three. So the Texas Rangers are coming out of this season as the world champions um, and going into 1982. So um, we have had some off-season activity, as you will see in a second here. Um, we are going into February now. So we have had some off-season activity. We have acquired um, Dale Murphy. We signed Dale Murphy. That was a notable signing. Um, and we, we also lost Phil Necro and we lost Tim Foley. So we've lost some guys. Um, most of the guys we lost, I wouldn't say are key, although losing Phil Necro probably stings a little bit. Um, Necro went to the Yankees. Tim Foley went to the Indians. As I said, we did get Dale Murphy, and we need a center fielder because last year Craig Kasich played um, center field for us quite often. So we that is something we needed, and um, that was good. But we did trade away a young Frank Viola. We traded away Frank Viola. Again, I am just the manager of the Pirates. I am not the general manager. So I'm not the one making these deals. It's the general manager that's giving me what I have, what he thinks I have to have to work with. So we will go take a look at my uh, managerial history here. And that's what you got. I'm 162 and 162 because I was 94 and 68 in season one. Um, I think, as I recall, we barely missed the, we barely missed winning the division by one game. And then uh, this past year, of course, 68-94 for an overall record of 162 and 162. Um, if we look at my available jobs, which I am not going to take, um, you can see that I would be offered the uh, Orioles job or the San Francisco Giants job. The Orioles job wouldn't be too bad. The Orioles don't look like they're all that bad, but San Francisco is not very good doesn't matter. I'm not taking any of them either. Anyway, I'm staying in Pittsburgh, and right now my reputation rates is average. So there's only so many jobs that I would have open to me anyway. But if you go to the standings again, you can see San Francisco was 72 and 90, and uh, the Orioles were 80 and 82. So the Orioles are, they're on the way up. Now, I don't want to, you know, I didn't, Obviously, I said the Giants were not a very good team, but they were better than us. So there is that. But anyway, um, let's take a look at our roster as it currently sits. Um, yeah, rosters in transactions. So here you have the uh, active roster. And it's showing right now uh, 35 of 40 players. Yeah. So anyway, we get you've got Jim Beatty, Bibby, Ray Burris. He was another acquisition. We signed Ray Burris. Pete Falcone. We also signed Pete Falcone. Last year, Pete Falcone only started six games and appeared in only six games. So he must have been injured for most of last year. Um, 
You got Mike C. Jones, Odell Jones. We have, we signed Odell Jones. Rick Matula. Rick Matula, I think, is the guy we got in exchange for Viola. So let's hope he plays a lot better than he did in real life. Uh, you got Poloni, Don Robinson, Rod Scurry, Jerry Uger, Derek Bethello, Dave LaRoche, Mickey Mailer. Again, we don't have much of a bullpen. Our bullpen is terrible. I wish that the uh, the GM would fix the uh, bullpen. Um, Enrique Romo, we still have Enrique Romo. He's aging, though. Got Rick Dempsey, Tony Marula, and uh, Mike Tyler at catcher. Doe Boyland, we still have on the roster. Rick Lancelotti at first base and Ken Phelps. And Willie Stargell. Willie Stargell is a head scratcher because as far back as the 1980 season, which was the first season I ran, Stargell was telling me he was retiring. And he's still here. He's still hanging around. Uh, John McCauley at second base. And you can see Stargell's 41 years old. I don't know what he's waiting for. Uh, Dave Oliver. George Orta. That's another guy. We got George Orta. You can see in 81, he hit. Uh, 308 with a 352 on base percentage. So we have made some good acquisitions. I think we've made some strides. Uh, Paul Jackanow, we had him last I think we had him last year. Richie Hebner is coming back, or at least so far he is. Uh, Gary Weiss, Eugenio Coates. And, you know, the reason it's probably only got 35 listed is we're in the off season, so the uh, GM can do whatever, you know, putting people up, sending people down, whatever he wants to do. Um, there's Craig Kasich, and there's Dale Murphy. There you go. And Dale Murphy in 81 hit 296 with a 351 on base percentage and 24 homers. So I'll take that. Jose Rodriguez. Uh, now, an interesting development, and I don't know if I can find him, um, but we have Joey Bats. We signed Joey Bats, Jose Batista. Um, I don't see him there. But, um, yeah, but he's 17. This is his age 17 season, and I think he really did start his career with the Pirates. So it's interesting that we got him because this is out of the park. It just has to do with where you're finishing out of the park. Um, well, anyway, I don't see him, um, but we did, we do have him. Let's see, let me see if I can find him over here. Um, anyway, pretty sure we have him, so. Um, Well, anyway, well, so maybe, you know, it's possible that there's a low A or whatever uh, team that isn't shown here on this screen. But so we got we got Batista and we're, we'll wait for his arrival, although he's like I said, this is his age 17 years. So he's not going to be up anytime soon. If we look at my front office um, and then we go to personnel. You got me. I'm rated average. The general manager is fair. So I don't know if that's bad. I, that seems to me like that's probably better than average. So that's good. But he needs to go out and get some other people for me, some good players. Bench coach is Ivan Ferreira. Again, I can't fire any of these people or replace any of them. It's up to the manager or the general manager to do that. Paul Blakely is the pitching coach. And we have hitting coach Steve Filipowicz, and he is inexperienced. But the team trainer is great, so maybe we're not going to suffer a lot of injuries. Let's just hope that that is what that means. So anyway, uh, we will, um, I'm going to go back to the manager screen. And uh, you can see we've got some, uh, you know, interesting tidbits over here in the news section. Um, anyway, where was it? Uh, 
Cincinnati, I think, got Scott McGregor. But anyway, I'm not going to go through all what every every other team got. So uh, let's let's go on with another uh, couple of weeks. Preseason. Let's go up to the preseason. We'll go up to when preseason begins. There you can see last year's playoffs. Texas beating the Yankees and San Diego losing to the Phillies to make that matchup. Um, okay, the only news item is that the preseason's beginning. So let's go to the 15th of February. And uh, let's see what news items we have here. Phil Garner begins military service. I don't know if you saw some of my uh, other recent um, videos, but yes, Phil Garner decided to quit baseball and join the army, um, at least in this uh, world, in this, this out of the park world. Um, Milwaukee announces deal for veteran starting pitcher, Rudy May. Rudy May signing with the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. So let's go to the end of February. And uh, it's interesting to see some real, or to see some off-season stuff when really in real life, there is nothing going on. All right, uh, spring training begins, so let's go to March 15th. Now, trades should be starting. I would think the trades will start. And there you go. We're two and one. We're three and one. That's encouraging. I'm not sure how far into the preseason I'm going to go or, you know, like up to the I mean, actually, actually really where we are. I will go up to the season. So we're going to go up to the start of the season. And then we will see where we are after that. And what other players maybe we acquire. Let's see if there was anything else of note over here. Elias Sosa changes diet, comes to camp in top shape. Uh, here's a bunch of transactions that the general manager has made, received Martin from AAA Portland, received Incavelia from Portland, received Warden from Buffalo. I mean, these are preseason games, so I guess these bringing these guys up to get them into the games and get them get some exposure. Player development update. Um, hmm, looks like George Orta has gone down. Jay Davison has gone up. Um, John Cerruti. We got John Cerruti. Nice. Out of the, uh, in real life, on the Blue Jays. Uh, spring training begins. Player transaction news. Dave Collins. Borgman. Uh, Glenn Borgman. Diaquisto. We received John Diaquisto. Nice. So uh, Wade Boggs, let's see. A blow for Wade Boggs. Team doctors were able to determine the full extent of his recent injury. He will miss two months. And he is on the Red Sox, which he really was. Um, okay. So you just got some team leader stuff there. Going through March. Let's go to the end of March. And then see what else happens. Well, we look really good in preseason. Let's hope that that carries over to the actual season. 12 and 7, 12 and 8, 13 and 8. Yeah, I got to hope that we're really that good. I think I'm going to manually play a lot more games than I did the first two seasons. Um, cause I did a lot of quick playing and that may have hurt our record. Matula's injured. You have just been in informed by your trainer that John Olhorn 
of, by the trainer who is John O'Learn that Rick Matula has been diagnosed with a rotator cuff and he's out for four months. So he's basically going to miss the season. Um, S. Miller from Portland. Matula receives update on the injured list. Chicago announces deal for veteran left fielder Hal McCray. Received Mike Caldwell. We're getting some, you know, he's yeah, he's out there dealing. I think we're going to be a lot better. It looks like we'll be a lot better. And Mike Young is going to be suspended for two games. Big deal. Okay, we're going to go right up to opening day. All right, Major League Baseball unveiled their 1982 schedule earlier as the preseason kicks off and clubs get ready for spring training and a rigorous exhibition schedule. Oh, no, that's old. That's old. Okay, so Whitaker is out for eight weeks. Uh, batting leaders. Kansas City wins the lottery for Tommy John. Single season record, player transaction news. These are guys that we've sent down and brought back up um, and whatever, player development update. Let's take a look at the Pirates. Um, rosters and transactions. Let's see if this has changed much. BD is a starting pitcher. Bibby, Burris, called, there's Mike Caldwell, Pete Falcone. Mike Jones, Odell Jones, Jim Palmer. My God, we have Jim Palmer. Nice. I didn't even see that in the news. That is crazy. All right, we got Jim Palmer. In 81, he was 3-6 and six with a 387 earned run average. Oh, yeah, although he is, yeah, he's getting old. He is 36, so maybe I shouldn't be too excited about uh, Don Robinson, okay, I mean, I think we always had Don Robinson. Um, again, the relief pitching, the bullpen, hopefully he's going to add to that, the depth out there in the bullpen, uh, but it's not good. Dempsey at catcher, Borgman at catcher. Uh, Ken Phelps. Stargell at 42 to 40. He just turned 42. He went from 41 to 42. Funny how that works. George Orta, Richie Hebner, uh, Willie Wilson, Kasich. They got Murphy listed as right field, but I don't know if I'll play him in the left because, see, he can give me the players, but I can play people anywhere I want to play them although I probably shouldn't play them somewhere where they're not listed. So, um, yeah, let's, let's finish today, see what it says. It should announce that the season's coming up. It's getting ready. It's doing everything. Bueller. So, yeah, let's hope that we have, uh, and also this game has a prognostication uh, element to it that where it will tell you where it expects every team to finish. So we'll see what they predict for my Pirates. Um, I'm only an average manager according to Out of the Park Baseball, so we'll have to see how that translates. I guess at 162 and 162 lifetime, I suppose that's what you would be. Um, so let's go to, yeah. Well, let's read important messages. It's always too long for everybody. Opening day matchups, blah, 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 blah. So finish today. And um, another important message to read. Um, not really. 
So we're going to start off against the Expos. Let's take a look at our schedule. Just a quick look at the schedule. Um, we start against Montreal for two. We got a day off in between. Then, uh, then we're at St. Louis. And then we're at Montreal. And then we come back home and take on the Cubs. And then St. Louis. And then the Cubs. Uh, so anyway, that's going to be our April right there. Let's go to the standings page. Should have us all at zero. It does, except the Reds. I guess they, yeah, the Reds always play the first opening game. So yeah, there have been a couple of games already played. Now, let's go to the, um, let's see. Reports and info, and um, preseason predictions. And they're picking the Yankees to win over in the AL East, the Royals to win in the AL West. Well, I don't know. Here we go. Uh, they're picking a 62 and 100 here and there no matter how cruelly i beg you do not open this door let's hope that doesn't happen or i'll get fired um and really we had a good preseason and i thought we got some good players so i don't know that that's really going to be the case um but anyway they're picking the reds to be dead last too better than us though they're picking us to be the worst team in the national league that Better not happen. Or like I said, I will be fired d -d 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 without um, many teams wanting my services, I might add. So let's see if that changed. Let's see if um, just a real quick check of that. Um, available jobs. Oh, well, somebody jumped in. The Mariners wouldn't mind having me. Although I don't know how good the Mariners really were. Um, Although they were picking the Mariners to tie for the lead in the West. No. Now, I'm going to stay with the Pirates. But anyway, uh, yeah, I want to give you guys that look. So we are done. We're done with the postseason or the preseason. We're done with the preseason. We're going into 1982. So the next video you see, we will, I will probably do opening day. It will probably be the next video. I'll play opening day and manage opening day against the Expos. And then after that, it's going to be a few games at a time throughout the season. But that's what I've got for you right now. That's it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, the Pittsburgh Pirates manager, signing off.